Hey, what's happening guys? Today, we're gonna take a look at this. It's a little crank flashlight thing that doesn't work anymore. This came from uh, my great uncle, who was a lifelong member uh, of the Toronto Lions Club. If you guys are familiar with the Lions Club, they're a service club. And they travel to other clubs, and uh, they give out little gifts to each other, pins and stuff mostly. But this was a little flashlight he got back in the 90s. You see it has some sort of generator, which seems to skip. Two LEDs, and this switch here. So I figured, well, let's see if we can figure out what's going on with it. It's got four teeny tiny... little uh, Phillips screws in here. Let's see if this thing is... Yeah, it is kind of strong enough to take them out. Nice. This thing doesn't have a lot of torque. But when you're dealing with a bunch of little screws and you're an older guy, it's a uh, it's a lifesaver. It is uh, e-durable. Comes with lots of bits. Nice little kit. Guess those screws aren't quite out yet, are they? Or they're not magnetic. No, they're magnetic. Man. Some of them just don't want to come out. One moment. There, I got them all out. No problem. Stuck them to that magnet. All right. Anything under the Made in China sticker? No. Let's open her up and see what's inside. Okay. So we got... There's our mechanicals. That's the uh, the driver, you know, the, the crank to turn the gears. And now if we look in here, this looks like three tiny little button cells. And I bet you that's what went bad. The little button cells have probably died. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see if the LEDs work. All right, I got the power supply set up for three volts at 50 milliamps. So now I'm just trying to, oh, well, that broke right off the motor. That probably didn't help much either. The little 3.6 volt battery is just completely, completely shredded. This does appear to be the positive side, though, which means that this would be the negative side. Negative. Oh, positive and the LEDs work which I assume they would so what we're looking at here is simply years of corrosion this little motor let's see if we can get the little motor to turn yeah Eh? Eh? Can we? I think so. Oh, yeah. It's pulling uh, 21 milliamps. Very cool. Yeah, I think that's shot. A 
What is this little diode here? Is that a, is that a Zener? Or is it an old germanium diode? Hmm. Let's see. I have moved the T7 transistor tester into its new permanent home here. Let's check out the diode. Flipping her up. And what do we got? What do we got? Just a regular diode. Just to be 100% sure, I can flip them around. Hit the old testerino again. Yep. Nope. Yep. That's a diode. So, unfortunately, this thing is pretty much shot, which is a shame. I really wanted to preserve it. But I don't think that's happening. I will save. The little motor, the diode, and the switches. Because what are we if not hoarders, right? No, well. Okay, just for fun, let's test the battery, see if there's anything left in it. I doubt it. To meter out here. This is again the uh, Zoe ZT 702S meter and oscilloscope. So we got this on voltage. Let's see which side is the plus, which side is the minus. I believe this is the positive side. That would make this the negative side. And we're getting 900 millivolts. Huh. Interesting. Well, everything is still pretty much dead, so that's a shame. But it does show you one thing. And if you take away nothing from this, other than I like old junk, is that just because this is an electric motor and you apply a current to this side and it spins this, keep in mind that you can switch that. And by spinning this, we can get an electric current out in a voltage. Let's try it. Okay, let's get her hooked up here. Yeah, this might not be so easy to do. Give me one second, put a couple wires on it. Okay, soldered a couple wires on here. They were not exactly cooperating, but at least I should be now able to connect some wires up to this. And then we should be able to drive the motor. I'm just gonna use this little screwdriver. Every time this thing jumps off, man, I'm trying to stay on there now. Right, here we go again. <laughs> At that speed, we're getting what 30 millivolts. It ain't much. Fifty millivolts, six, maybe sixty. Can we hit sixty? No. We go, we go backwards. Minus fifty. 
and there's no way you're turning that crank that fast. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. Uh oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, hope I can get that out of there. Put my uh, screwdriver kit away here. I like the little click lock case. Very nice. All right, guys, that's it. We couldn't save it. I mean, yeah, maybe if I ordered a new little battery, cleaned off all the crews and everything, but uh, yeah, not worth the effort to me. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. You can even share the videos. Did you know that? That's always fun. And if you liked it, you know, thumb me up. That's it. I'm out. Peace.